Hello everyone, so today's pick a card reading is on the inquiry of what does my will or solar plexus need to tell me? So I've recently done another video on what my heart needs to tell me, so and I did feel like it was kind of incomplete having only the heart and not the will as it is Libra season right now, although about to be Scorpio season. So please take your time to meditate upon the question to choose which card you would like. The timestamps will be in the description. So this is a red tiger's eye. This is a citrine. This is a honey calcite. And this is a pyrite. For those of you who chose the red tiger's eye, this is going to be your reading. So first I'm going to read your angel card. So let's see what we have. So, inner guidance is the first message from your solar plexus or your will, so I'm going to read that to you. And these are the Ascension Angel cards by Melanie Beckler. She's actually on YouTube as well. Inner guidance. Archangel Jophiel, the full extent of which you can seek can only be found within you. To uncover your highest poten potential, discover your sole purpose and align with the vast possibilities for your life. Look within. Focus your awareness upon your heart and tune into the light therein. Lift in the light and presence of the divine and let your inner light awaken the full truth of all that you are. Then listen and receive guidance to urge you forward. Act on this guidance and take your next step to bring your highest light into reality to live as an awakened master of light that you are, to awaken to your full beauty as a divine being, your full power and potential. Receive all the codes of awakening from your team, your guides, the earth, and the divine, and let them color flow into place and unfold in the way that is authentic to you. Live to expand into this higher state of consciousness, into your highest light. From this knowing and presence of vast, infinite love, be guided, inspired, promoted to take action, and prompted to take action in your life. You may return to this space for a while merely to be in the divine light and presence and bask in the energy before your next steps appear. Let that be okay. Lift in the light and just be knowing that when you do, guidance in your way through will be revealed. And so sit in the light, shine with light, and when you receive inspiration, take action. Listen to your inner guidance to live authentically, boldly, vibrantly, and with incredible love in the way that empowers you most benefits your life and serves, awakens, and heals humanity as a whole, ushering humanity and the earth into the new and awakened earth, the new para paradigm, one moment at a time. So for some of you who chose this pile, you may be in a place where you've been kind of distracted or working on a lot of things and you have been kind of called away from your inner light and your inner guidance for whatever it is that you're doing. Um, maybe for some of you, you don't feel the strongest sense of inner power or maybe feel as though you've forgotten how much power that you truly have just within you already and some of you may be looking to places and sources or putting your power into something else or someone else or thinking that this person or this place or the thing is the reason that I'm empowered. Uh, that's just for some of you though. That's not for all of you Tiger's eye is a stone that is all about Bringing you into a sense of your own personal empowerment So those of you who did choose this pile, I do feel a sense that you're wanting to really feel your Fully feel your sense of personal empowerment whether it's um, Something that you've forgotten that you've had in yourself or if it's something that you want to build more upon and your solar plexus is trying to tell you that everything that you need is already inside of you you don't need to do anything you don't need to find anything outside of you that's going to bring you this sense of personal empowerment that you need to feel fulfilled and to be able to take action there's nothing outside of you that will tell you what you need to do or where you need to go or what action that you need to take rather than what's already within you is your blueprint that already exists as you're already complete and whole within yourself. All you have to do 
is seek those answers within you to find your own personal empowerment. So we have Dreamer 3 and Dreamer 4. We, and these are the swords in this deck, they're called Dreamer. So with the Dreamer 3 being so lost, it does look like you have gone through a period of like where you might feel like you've given too much away at this point, really. And it's really time for you to be able to relax and rejuvenate in yourself. And because it seems like for some of you, you've tried to share and you, you felt kind of rejected. And your what your solar plexus is trying to tell you to really go within and feel your own sense of empowerment within you. And the responses to people that people have from outside of you are not um, a description or they're not um, who you are or what you are because it seems like you guys do have a very big heart that you share with others but it might not be you might not feel as appreciated as you'd like to feel at this point and it might be hard for you to even want to take action on some things anymore because you just feel like you know, all I do is give and I don't get anything in return. Why do anything anyway? So it's like remembering, that's what I'm feeling a lot for this pilot, is a sense of having to remember who you are and how powerful you are and what it is that you love to do so much. The streamer four is all about, this person is like walking on this mountain, on these clouds and they're just like, they look really free right here. They look really free. It's like a dream. It's like a, a visualization. It's like this could be what this person is meditating on even um, in their inner guidance. Like that. It's like that feeling. It's finding that feeling that you're that you're really wanting to look for, and not placing that that feeling in an external object and being like, oh, like this feather is what brings me this feeling like the feeling was within you the feeling was within you and this person you guys really seem that you are seeking complete like a sense of freedom a sense that you can just do what you want without having to worry about what other people are gonna say and it just kind of like an exhausted kind of energy like you're tired of putting yourself out there and you're tired of being rejected so that's why it's about going within and finding those answers that you seek in that own your own sense of fulfillment. So we have throat portal and exiled. So with throat portal, speak your truth, courage, and suppression. Some of you have done this. Some of you have spoken your truth and you've been rejected for it, and now you may feel suppressed for it. Um, your solar plexus is, is trying to tell you that you gotta do what you wanna do, like have the courage, have the willpower to just be you and express yourself, do whatever it is that you need or want to do. Because for a lot of you, it's that feeling that you're not feeling supported by others, you're feeling a sense of disconnection and loneliness isolation like at a loss you're feeling really at a loss here feeling like maybe some of you feel abandoned by others you just don't feel understood by others you feel separate from them in some way because some of you have people around you who just aren't supportive of what of what your needs are, what your ideas are, what you envision this with this card, with the dreamer for. This is something that you really dream of. You dream of this freedom. But um, in your kind of waking reality, you had this sense of feeling like separation, disconnect, isolation, like heartbreak, um, suppressed. Like you don't want to be hurt again is what is going on that could be preventing you from doing what it is that you truly want to do and what burns like a passion that burns within you 
So yeah, with this I'm seeing that there is something new that you want to start. There is something new that you want to start, but there's just factors around the thing that you want to do that's like feeling like you can't. There's like things that are just making it seem as though like, oh, I can't do that um, because this happened in the past or because of this person, because this place, because of this thing. When there's like something that you really love and that you really want to do for yourself and that you've really possibly been dreaming of for a long time and it's a very it's a very true thing within like what really burns your passions and your desires really bright what burns what fuels you um what i'm seeing this light sparking out here this light in the the throat portal this is what this is what you really love to do and you really want to do this thing but the thing is it might be hard for you to to share this with people it might be hard for you to take an take another chance on yourself is another thing like you might feel like in the past you failed or people didn't like something or whatever the case may be there could be a core belief for some of you that kind of prevents you that's feeling like it's preventing you from pursuing this new thing that you're doing right here So we have Ram, Earth Father. So this is the Emperor card. The Emperor is a very logical. He's set structures down. He gets things done and he makes sure that they get done. So your solar plexus kind of is trying to tell you here like you need to kind of like let people know how you are to be treated and not let yourself get taken advantage of for one thing to speak your truth because um, a lot of you might not want to like rock the boat so to say you don't want to rock the boat you don't want to um, you don't want to feel misunderstood you don't want to be cast out by anyone but the thing is there's things that you aren't telling people like what your you, like boundaries are because I'm seeing a lot of like circles around like got circles around them here like there's a s certain degree of boundary that these people have or like that they've asserted in themselves um, protection it's kind of like protecting yourself from those forces outside of you that are just putting you down it's like kind of really making sure you're letting people know around you if you have people that are just being really negative and unsupportive being like you know like that's not okay um, I don't deserve to be treated like this, you know, like standing up for yourself and standing your ground for what you just feel like is just not right, what you're not liking. It's like, you know, why, why let people take advantage of you? Why let people talk shit to you? Tell them like, you know, I don't, I don't really appreciate that, you know, like that's not helpful. And that's, and it's not about being rude in any way. That's just letting people know what your truth is, letting people know how it is for you. Like, and it, you know, instead of, because you don't want to rock the boat, um, but that's just, standing up for yourself is not rocking the boat is the thing that is the, really the message here is like, if you really want to be in this place of peace and comfort and able to just feel the sense of personal empowerment that doesn't rely on what anyone thinks, we got to let people know, like, I'm not okay with being treated this way. Like, this doesn't feel right to me. Because if something, if something doesn't feel right, you know, just let people know. Um, just let people know, because it seems for this pile, some of you may be feeling quite misunderstood by others and like a victim to others mentality, but a lot of people might not be knowing that you're feeling this way. Keep in mind that because um, you could possibly think that it's obvious, like, I'm giving all this away, like, I'm doing all this for you, and, like, can't you see how I'm feeling? But it's, like, people don't, people are just focusing on them, you know, so make sure you let people know what needs to get done, how things need to be for you, how you are to be treated, and this is about knowing, like, what is, what it is for you, what is it for you that, that feels right how do you want to be treated these are questions to ask yourself and to speak up for and to make sure that you're being treated the way that 
you're wanting to be treated so that you can just you know live your life so that you can work on what you're wanting to work on here and take action on this without worrying about other people if you're sharing with other people and they're telling you like oh you know that's that that doesn't look very good like that's kind of dumb like just let people know like well okay thanks for the thanks for the opinion but you know I don't really need to hear this right now thank you very much <laughs> like just lay down the law basically like the emperor card so we have sodalite which says embodiment of dharma because what you are trying to do here in this pile you're really trying to embody your purpose and if you don't feel supported by other people around you you gotta lay down the law and see like okay like who's not supportive in my life who do i need to cut off who do i need to tell what's what's good here like what is supportive of me moving forward and what is not because you're really trying to start something new for yourself so it's like there's certain people and things around you that just aren't coming with you on the next stages of what you're trying to do or just the way that you maybe be maybe being treated is just outdated and it's kind of like you know i'm onto these greater paths now i'm onto greater things and like I just can't handle being treated like that from you. Like, I, under I understand that um, you're not, that you don't see what's wrong with what you're saying, but it hurts me and it's just not supportive of me. So basically, you know, just let people know how where you stand and how you're feeling. This was Scorpio. Um, these are intense. These can be very emotional. It can be a very deep situation. It can be kind of complex, intimate. It can be taboo. It can be um, obsessive, secretive. People might not know, like I said, but the fifth house is all about your fun, your hobbies, your creativity, joy, children, self-expression, um, risk gambling it's all that fun stuff like love affairs so this could have to do for some of you like you're having these intense kind of love affairs or you have deep complexes around um just what you're trying to do how you're trying to express yourself how you're trying to go about your hobbies whatever it is you're doing and with mars with action energy aggression assertion so there is a need to assert yourself here. There is a need to assert how you feel on a situation because you're, because um, for this pile, it is like, you're not feeling supported in how you are ex choosing to express yourself. And it's about really knowing within you, like what, how do I want to be treated? And really letting, asserting that to people, not being aggressive, just, assert how you feel you are to be treated and don't don't put yourself below anyone don't put yourself above anyone either but you know don't don't lay low and be like oh i'm just gonna let people treat me like this because they don't understand it's very important that we just lay down the law and let people know where we stand that's that's really what the message is for this pile because to stand in our own personal power for this pile doesn't matter what anyone else says about how you should be treated. It's about how you feel with inside of you and just making sure that you're asserting that. And if people still are hating, like maybe you got to cut people off at that point. But I'm sure a lot of people will definitely be supportive of anything that you need to address and need to say so that you can keep expressing yourself and keep doing what you're doing without having to deal with like all this like negativity around you because you know it's things are definitely better than they are seeming in some ways here about forgiving yourself and others maybe starting anew starting fresh kind of For this there's definitely a need to like go within and see 
see what that is for you and then laying down the law so you can keep doing what you're doing. Put all this energy into your projects. Hello, those of you who chose Sit Train, this is your reading now. So first I'm going to read your angel card. So let's see. We have emotional clearing as the message from your solar plexus or your will. So I'm going to read this emotional clearing. This is the Ascension, Ascension Angel Cards by Melanie Beckler. So let's see what emotional clearing says. Okay. Here it is. Okay. Archangel Muriel. Clearing the lower levels of emotion is an essential step on your path now. Negative emotions are not your truth, rather they simply reveal a record of your past experience with an illusion. Release into the light the lower levels of fear and emotion that arise within like you like storm clouds. Return your awareness to your breath, center your energy, feel the emotion, and then consciously choose to let it go. Step back into a perspective of neutrality, non-judgment, and awareness where you can feel and remember that all is well. Take responsibility as the creator of your own experience, as the empowered being who is responsible for your own energy. Remember, you are a powerful light being. While other people can trigger negative emotion in you, ultimately it is your choice how you respond to any situation. Release others from this responsibility, forgive them, forgive yourself, and do a final release of any lingering emotion. Let it go and then tune into the gratitude for the situation. This situation has revealed negative emotional energy that was only weighing you down, but because of this situation, it came to the surface and you are able to release it. Release, let go of emotion, return to neutrality, and tune into gratitude. All is well. So, for some of you, there might have been a situation that did come up that really caused you to maybe act in a way that, or feel in a way that you didn't particularly want. I'm feeling a very tense kind of feeling right now, like I'm just feeling um, kind of uneasy type of feeling. Um, kind of frustrated, kind of frustrated for this pile, like kind of feeling like there's like a sense of block. Um, there's things coming up right now that really have to be moved through. Like these things were, weren't at the surface before, but now they're there and they're ready to be dealt with and reconciled because these were things that were kind of really below the surface that are now, they're ready to be addressed, which is a very, which is a very positive thing. So with Warrior Two and the High Priestess. This is kind of like learning how to just tune in and and chill and like see all sides of things here. With this emotional clearing, your solar plexus is kind of trying to tell you like to gain a sense of discipline and patience. Like just one a type of feeling like okay let's just let's just sit back and wait a second and watch and tune in and see what's going on around me. Really feel the energy around you before you react or respond because possibly for this pile you might be someone who really wants to go and get things done and achieve things normally and just like go full speed ahead and. Um, maybe very ambitious person because also citrine is a stone that really helps you achieve that really helps you to achieve your goals and to stay with a very focused mental clarity mindset on whatever it is that you wish to achieve so you might be someone who is like that normally so your solar plexus is really trying to tell you that it's really going to be beneficial to just tune in to all the feelings around you. Just take a pause and be like, okay, what's going on here? What's going on? How am I feeling? How do I, do I feel like this environment is supportive of me? Do I feel like I'm doing what is in alignment with my truth? 
like it's definitely like taking this pause here being able to because I'm feeling like for this for this pile it's kind of difficult for you to take this pause and have to and to just have to process it and see what's going on very very clearly because I do feel like with this pile you might usually be someone who just likes to move who likes to move forward just keep going but there might be you know some stuff coming up recently where you feel kind of like a you gotta do something that you gotta kind of take this pause that you're not you don't necessarily want to take a pause but it's needed to happen so you're holding a lot of energy here um, she also has her solar plexus is ignited as she sits here and she's really tuning into all the things that she feels as with this card too all this yellow around all this yellow around here all this power um, this looks like even lightning it looks like an X but it just looks like there's a lot of power here power awakens so it's like tuning in to where you're gonna put all this energy so we've got heart portal and oneness so for this pile it's about sharing your gifts too I'm seeing that for some of you it's like putting more energy into sharing with others and sharing your gifts and really opening up your heart to possibilities as well with the oneness balance patience divine masculine so yeah this is something that's kind of like where you're having to kind of take a pause and be kind of patient to really balance things out the heart is always is your is the middle it's the center balance um it's finding center here is your message from the solar plexus like if to continue kind of taking action and asserting yourself and asserting your will there needs to be a balance found here where you're kind of um between your action course and your receptive force so between your masculine and feminine here um finding that finding your center finding your center sharing what you have to offer so okay nine of wands this is something that you've been working on for a while so it it can feel like kind of hard to actually take a take a bit of a pause here but this is something you've been working on something for a long time like i'm feeling like the people who have picked this pile are people who are probably on like some sort of spiritual path or of sorts where they've been going going along this road for a while and putting a lot of work and energy and effort into what that they do so really here your solar plexus is kind of just trying to tell you to just be patient be open be receptive tune into what's going on around you which i'm sure this pile actually already does quite often Um, if there's anything coming up in terms of emotional clearing, anything like from the past or anything like old things to clear from the heart. So these are things are clearing, these things are clearing so that you can move forward on this journey that you've been on for quite a while. Um, I feel like you've been working on stuff a lot to bring up kind of things to the surface anyway that because you, you're, this pile is a pile that's definitely wanting to move forward and grow in their life. So anything that's coming up now is helping you do just that. So don't worry about thinking like being afraid of anything that comes up because everything that comes up right now is definitely for your benefit to be cleared and to be reconciled because you are someone who's been on this journey, who's been working on this for a while. So um, there's so much about balance in this reading. So this is... Your solar plexus, your will, is really trying to help you balance things out here. It's really trying to tell you, you know, this is all happening just so we can find balance. We got the twos, we've got balance, we've got the heart, that's the center. Finding center again. And the fox, the seer of branches. So 
this card is like the page of wands and the page of wands is always very curious and adventurous and foxes are very, they like to have a lot of fun too foxes are are very tricky they're very tricky so for this for this group though i do feel a sense of needing to say that um to not be too distracted um and to not be get too distracted and all finding all these new and fun things and to really take a pause and let things clear and balance out before you proceed because overall though like this is a group that is more like like i said more energetic like they want to achieve they want to go and try these new things and get these things done and you guys just seem to have like a lust for life kind of personality um which is definitely not a bad thing at all though let me say that it's like but yeah like i said it's about finding that balance here um clearing all those things from the heart that just it's time like for healing the heart finding that that peace and oneness with them um, with yourself and humanity Really feeling connected with others, feeling connected with the world around you, and and yeah, seeking out um, seeking out connections, seeking out endeavors. Of course, though, taking this pause. So we have Rado Crossite, Cro if that's how you say it, rejuvenation and ecstasy, which is water emotions so what your will and solar plexus is trying to tell you here for those of you who chose citrine is just kind of to take a take a bit of a pause take some time to relax and let your let your channels clear out and kind of rejuvenate again because um, you've been at this for a while like i said you've been at this for a while you've got a lot going on you've got a lot of energy but you know let's take some time to tune in and really figure out exactly where we want to direct our energy before we move forward. Um, I'm seeing beaches right now. Taking some time to just relax and chill at the beach with like a pina, pina colada or something, I don't know. Um, and just tuning into what's, what's feeling right. Letting that stuff clear, letting that stuff clear. Finding that balance, finding that center so you can keep being the master that you are at what you do. So that you can just keep um, spreading your love for life to humanity. So let's roll Venus, love, beauty, affection. And this fell on the Divine Masculine card, so that's kind of like balance between the masculine and the feminine. Capricorn, work, 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 um, work, discipline, authority, kind of serious energy. Seven, relationships, partnerships, open enemies, law, contracts. So, in any of these endeavors, this could be applying to you. I see Venus twice, and Venus is kind of a Venus is kind of associated with the seventh house, Libra, Venus, relationships. They both have to do with relationships. So um, if you're not in a relationship with someone though, or even if you are, it's about finding that balance in relationship with yourself um, and the way that you take action and the way that you relax. And uh, yeah, for some of you, you have a lot going on in, in a relationship right now where it just kind of feels like you've been dealing with something for quite a while now and you're just a lot of emotions are coming up. A lot of emotions are coming up between the two of you and the relationship and it's just kind of needing to be kind of healed and open, um, finding that trust again, finding that trust. And um, with what you're working on here, because this is a group that's very ambitious and hardworking and really working on climbing. Just um, making sure that we balance 
I know I keep saying that, but that is what I'm seeing so much for this pile, taking that time here. To have, to have a good time. Um, it's not all about work. It's not all about work. It's, you gotta have funs and pleasures too. Venus is all about pleasure. You know, trying something new even. Trying something... Or remembering something like what what's something that you used to do that you haven't done in a while. So... Yeah some fire energy here got a little bit of water not really any like air or like earth particularly but this is all kind of a quite spiritual energy here that I'm feeling because this might not be something very visible in your waking life right now like other people not, might not know that you have all this going on and you've been on this journey and you've been going through this stuff it's been a long road but yeah let's make sure we're rejuvenating ourselves so we can keep going is what our solar plexus is saying so thanks for watching everyone if you enjoyed make sure to subscribe i have another video on my channel for what your heart needs to tell you so if you want to balance the two out and get what your heart needs to tell you as well from your solar plexus and your will. That video is up as well. So thank you for watching. Okay, so for those of you who chose honey and calcite, this is your reading now. So first we're gonna read your angel card. So let's see what we've got. We got progress, that's very beautiful. It's like a beautiful colors, beautiful butterfly. Let's read progress. So. These are the Ascension Angel cards by Melanie Beckler. So let me find. Okay, here we go. This is from the Ascended Masters. The Ascended Masters are with you and collectively support you in stepping into the full light of your Ascended Self. Ascended Masters are powerful allies because they have mastered the Ascension Path and now from Spirit, they lovingly and happily help show you the way. Open your heart to experience the energy, love, healing, and enlightened perspective broadcast from the Ascended Masters now. Allow the light to flow throughout your being, healing, and replenishing your energy body. Visualize a golden spiral of light around you, elevating your vibration and opening you to your full and magnificent potential. You are ready to progress. You are ready to live as one. You are ready to live as the full embodiment of the divine, shining the fullness of the Christ light that you are. You are one of the ascended beings you know and love who broadcast direct blessings of divine, of healing, grace, compassion, authentic being, and of life towards you now. Be open to receive be open to the powerful guidance and assistance of the Ascended Masters who are supporting you where you are right now. Okay, so for this for this group, this is definitely a group you guys have been working on maybe really living in alignment of your true purpose for a while. And you're really starting to blossom, like you're really starting to come out and really um, trans really starting to see the transformation becoming to consciousness now for all that you've been working on. Because your solar plexus says that your make is is definitely showing you in the physical, like you're on this video, you are making progress. Um, you know, don't give up now, don't go back because you've made it so far and you still have so so much ahead of you so many amazing blessings ahead of you so we've got dreamer five and the empress so for this pile i'm feeling like those of you who've chosen this pile might be people who kind of compare themselves to other people and put themselves below others for some of you 
that can definitely be the case. Like you might not see how worthy you truly are and how much value and worth that you have. And um, you're really starting to, to blossom here though. Like you're really starting to come into your full being and your full potential and really starting to realize like who you are and what you're about and what your gifts and talents are. And this is about more like nurturing yourself more now, like really finding what there is to love within you and being, being very caring towards yourself because I'm feeling that in the past for this pile, it's like you're very hard on yourself and you're very much like one mistake was just like the end of the world. One mistake, you're such a horrible, like, you know, bad, um, this like very negative, unhealthy things to say to yourself in the past. Um, and you're really making progress with being so much more kind to yourself and really, like I said, you're blossoming now. You're blossoming like this beautiful, this beautiful flower coming from her. You're really starting to create your own, your own reality, like your own world to be in now, your own senses of what you love, what you appreciate, what you value, and not going off of what the world does or what you feel like you've needed to be in the past, but now really coming into you and fully you, authentically you, um, growing you, growing you, like growing these wings, blossoming as as a being, as a, not just as a human being, but blossoming just as you, as you, and really starting to see that those things that in the past that you had felt like were such a burden or such a loss in your life or just so hard for you or just so like, Things that you felt like, wow, if I could have, if only that could have been, like, if only that could have worked out, if only, like, that would have just stayed, like, but now you're starting to see, like, you know, I really didn't need that thing, like, look how amazing I am, and look all that I can do by myself, for myself, I didn't need that thing anyway. So we've got Ice Queen and Emotional Freedom. So Ice Queen, Introspection, Self-Analysis, Fortitude. I'm definitely feeling like a lot of you have been really kind of finding who you are more, like what you're about, like I said, like um, really being more like this kind of is reminding me of the hermit card right now where you're just being introspective and really taking time to just find yourself and see what you're truly about what you love what you love appreciate value what it is that you enjoy doing what are your skills what are your talents what are those traits in you that are so valuable and you really it's really like a time of it, whether you're at this point or not of emotional freedom where you're able now to be more vulnerable and free and flowing you're not afraid of losing anything because it's like coming in that understanding that anything you lost was truly a gain like anything that that is leaving your life is for your own blessing and your own benefit because now it's like really coming into yourself and really blossoming and being free to express and I'm seeing like you know, like just dancing, just flowing, just like singing, just full on self-expression, just being free to be you without any sense of like embarrassment or like no holding back from it. Just, and it's really coming from a place of love and um, this vulnerability is really a beautiful thing. Like I'm seeing this as all, this is a beautiful energy right here. Like it just feels like the type of, like this feels like the type of energy like I just want to start crying type of energy, but it's a rebalancing, a rebalancing. Anything that you lost was also, that you feel like you didn't have, was all meant to kind of bring you in the state of rebalancing. So we have Ibis, Nurture of Feathers, who is the Queen of Swords. So this is about really seeing things clearly. Also, she's a lot like the Ice Queen. Two, seeing things clearly, seeing things objectively, seeing like 
okay, like those things, I didn't need those things, I didn't need those places, I didn't need those people because, you know, I am where I am now because this is what was meant for me, this is what's right, this is what's fair, like ways that used to be hard on yourself, now you're like, no, like no one deserves to be treated like that, like that's just not fair. And so you're really coming in to just completely you, authentically you, your strength, your potential. This is a Libra card. Um, it's about relating, harmony, balance, you know, relationship, uh, being social. And it's not being afraid of things that just you, that you're shouldn't be afraid of really like that are just unreasonable to be afraid of as I'm feeling like also this pile a lot of you might have really struggled with anxiety in the past that you're really starting to starting to heal from and you're really starting to see things very clear here and being like you know there's nothing to be afraid of like I can express myself and I'm safe to do so and it's like giving yourself permission to do what it is that you love and giving yourself permission to to shine, to nurture, to just to just be you, to express yourself however that is for you. And the Knight of Swords. It's all about pursuing, pursuing those goals, pursuing those um, ideas, pursuing those concepts, pursuing because some of you might be students also. Some of you might be students um, going to school right now. But the, the Knight of Swords, he's like, it's a Gemini card. Um, Gemini is very versatile. Gemini is very intellectual, intelligent. Um, he kind of, Gemini is a jack of all trades. He can do anything. So it's like, I feel like for this group, you guys are really starting to recognize a lot of your talents and a lot of your skills and really letting that come into being now and finding like, okay, like, where can I put these? Where can I put where can I put my talents and skills and traits and yeah there were things that you had to take your L's with and take your loss with so that you can now be in this place where you're able to just completely express who you truly are and bring your skills and traits to the table because now you're really giving yourself more love and more care and your solar plexus is telling you like if these aren't things that you're doing that these are in your future like it's in your future to be able to be this way even if um, what I'm saying isn't what's going on for you right now. This is for you to come. So we have Emerald, Fire of Abundance, Ray of Magnificence. So really shining that light, attracting all those things that are meant to you to come to you now. You're making progress in all the things that you're that you're wishing to achieve, that you're wishing to show the world, that you're wishing to express, that you're willing to now be brave and shine and, and treat yourself fair, treat yourself and others with kindness. Treat others how you wanna be treated. Because the message from your will is really to be you, to keep being you, to keep going after what's you, to be authentic, to be, to act in, in truth, to act in integrity. Always acting in integrity. Mars, action, energy, assertion, 10 work, career, status, authorities, Capricorn, that's also, these are correlated together, Capricorn, work, um, discipline, routine, authority, management. So for you guys, you're really ambitious right now, you're really wanting to achieve and keep going, like, you are on the right track right here. Um, you have a lot of a lot of dreams and ambitions and desires and things that you wish to achieve. A lot of things that you wish to bring to the world and that you're trying to grow right now. And really trying to attract 
this abundance to yourself and trying to attract these blessings to yourself um, and just making sure that you know we're maintaining our integrity and our truth as we're doing it and really being a messenger and someone who takes action from a very authentic place and always making sure like what you're taking action on is in alignment with what your truth is and also knowing like it's not all about your status you know it's not all about your status it's not all about work it's not all about it's about also finding that inner security because I think this was has been a journey that you've been on is going within and finding that inner security and that ability to just be you and be vulnerable and be comfortable with yourself. And this is something that you're able to show others at this point. And your solar plexus is trying to tell you that like, you're an example to others in this endeavor. Ray of magnificence, you're magnificent right now, really. You're just attracting all kinds of abundance your way through being authentic, through being authentically you, living in your truth and in integrity. So your solar plexus is also saying like to keep going after what you what you're interested in, to keep pursuing it. Because, you know, we're, we're making progress here. This is not the end of the journey, of course. But you're doing, you're doing great as, as you make your progress here. You know, taking your L's where they're needed. And just keep going. Like, you can't be stopped. Just always be gentle and kind with yourself. Always, you know, make sure we're allowing ourselves to express ourselves. So that is all that I have for this pile. Thank you for watching everyone. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. I also have another video on my channel for what your heart needs to tell you, which is a good balance to your solar plexus and your will. So if you'd like to watch that, I'll have the video linked in the description. So thanks for watching. Okay, so for those of you who chose the pyrite, this is your reading. So first, I'm going to read your angel card. So we have forgive, let me read you forgive. And these are the Ascension Angel cards by Melanie Beckler. As the message from your will, your solar plexus. Okay. So this is Archangel Zadkiel. With forgiveness, you empower healing for yourself and others. With forgiveness, your energy expands, your vibration increases, and healing is able to happen for you on a cellular and energetic level. Forgiveness does not make whatever happened right, but it allows you to mentally and energetically let go of any grievance previously held. With this shift in perspective of forgiveness, the vibration of every cell in your body is able to increase and the subtle energy within and around you shifts. Forgiveness brings great benefit into your life and into the lives of others. When you forgive, even on s even or small past hurts and wounds, forgiving yourself and those who betrayed you or caused harm in life, in your life, you are able to create a significant energy shift. Where, where is forgiveness necessary in your reality now? Let yourself feel fully whatever comes up and now release it all into the light and over to your angels. You are wrapped in the wings of love as your angels take your past pain, suffering, or doubts and release these energies into the light. Allow forgiveness, love, and compassion to take their place. It is powerful to step away from holding on to past wounds and to shift into the perspective of forgiveness and love. So for this for this pile right now, I'm kind of feeling like a sense of... Um, a sense of kind of hurt, like a sense of um, kind of sadness and maybe even unworthiness for some of you. 
and others of you also, there's this feeling of like, you know, you're really ready to let go. You're really ready to move on. You're ready to forgive. And your solar plexus is telling you it's time to stop holding on to any old past hurts and emotions. And it's really time to forgive and step into your truth and your personal power now and to regain regain that part of you that you feel like was given away or lost because it, it was never given away or lost. It's always been there. So we have Azurite, which is Spirit Guide Light Bridge. The Tower. And Maker 9. So for a lot of you who chose this pile, like I'm feeling that sense of like just letting go of so many things, like just a completely new way of living and being and realizations that have come forth that have just, cause I'm seeing this person is just like really ready to let go right now. She's really ready to let go. Like all these things that you've realized, it's like have gotten you to this point where you're just like, you know what, I don't want to hold on to any of these false, any of these false identities, personas, people, places, things, and I'm just ready to let go and to just trust now and forgive. I'm ready to begin a new slate. I'm ready to, to, uh, to just begin new, to wipe the slate clean. Yeah, wipe the slate clean. root and blossom blossoming coming into that comfortable full state of being like basking in the sun laying in the grass being nourished by the earth and remembering who you are remembering how loved you are remembering how supported that you are especially with spirit guide it's like you're not alone, you know? You're not alone. It's like that sense of feeling so supported in what you do. Your solar plexus really wants you to know that any everything that you've ever gone through and anything that you will do, you're not alone in that endeavor. Just get comfortable and, and let yourself be supported. Transformation. And higher perspective so this is you really awakening into like this whole new way of being here bringing this forth whole new way of living transformation metamorphosis synchronicity the unexpected so you I'm feeling like this is like kind of multiple things really adding up together like seeing all these things and being like having this completely new view of reality this higher perspective awakening the cosmos unity that tower bringing forth this higher perspective like allowing yourself to just be transformed and let loose and see the world in a new light see the world in a more beautiful way see the world in a way that's just so loving and nourishing now because a lot of you might be getting through some very hard times like you know dark night of the soul or whatever the case is something traumatic in the past some traumatic events in the past that you're really starting to rise from the ashes now that and you're starting to see those experiences in the past like you're starting to see the gifts in those that you received like things that were so hard for you now you're realizing like that is the gift that i received from that event that I just thought was so traumatic and starting to recognize all those gifts that that you received from those events they're coming forth now and like for a lot of you this is like kind of gaining more contact with other realms um, or like you know other planes of existence spirit guides ancestors angels whatever it is becoming more aware like fairies just basically becoming more aware of 
of um, all the life around you and how you're just how you're not alone like I said how you're not alone how um, you know there's elementals there's fairies around you there's and um, you're remembering this now you're remembering this and the two of wands she's she's kind of like in both planes here she's like has some earth right here and then like she's taking from this source and giving to this source whatever planet this is this looks like i mean i think that's supposed to be earth but i'm like seeing that as a different planet and bringing it to earth like bringing that to those plants but it's like taking what you've learned and putting it into something now basically really transforming bringing this all into a whole thing establishing it for yourself because you really this is something this has been going on for a while and it's like finally starting to see the answers to what to what has occurred that what you've been looking for finally things are starting to come into fruition that you've been waiting so long you've been waiting so long for this to happen for you to get to the stage now And it's time to like really take these things and put them into into value, into use. Cat Knower of Secrets, which is the High Priestess card. It's like really about, cause this is really a pile of like awakening. So this is like awakening your intuition, psychic abilities, extrasensory, extrasensory perceptions really starting to come in your own your own way of being and doing things now it's like just letting go of all that stuff in the past so you can now do the work that you really came here to do because I'm seeing this as someone who really wants to help humanity with this how she's just kind of taking from here and giving to here is something that like that you can do, that you can do, and you're ready to do, you're ready to forgive and to move on and to share your gifts with the world. Because I'm feeling like a lot of you in this pile do kind of have like some sort of psychic or spiritual type of gift that you can share with others or that you can really let yourself be opened up to and and let yourself play around with and experience more because um, there's something a lot of stuff is really leading you into into being more of service to humanity at this point. It's like kind of realizing all those things that had happened were bringing you to this to this place so that you can do this service so that you can awaken and do the work that you came here to do. It's like bridging the the spiritual and the physical. And finding how you can do that and healing from these past traumas. And seeing beyond the illusion now. And finding finding that comfort in the world. I'm really playing now. Ready to play. Ready to serve. Ready to give. Ready to enjoy life now. I, I just feel like... For this group like everything from this point on is really starting to go is really starting to to go up for you really starting to be more uplifting because a lot has been processed a lot has been gone through it's like really ready to be free and to do what you came here to do with Pisces, universal, oneness, imagination, dissolving, compassion, the north node, your growth, what's unfamiliar to you. And three, communication, thinking, communicating, analyzing. So I'm seeing this as like, I'm reading right now for, for some of you who are really awakening to what you came here to share with humanity like really like 
these spiritual gifts that you have, this compassion that you have for others is really, what you've been learning is really a part, this unfamiliar stuff you've been going through is a part of your growth in this lifetime so that you can really communicate this with others, so that you can share this with others. And, um, yeah this is something that's really to be communicated and to be put your efforts into this to share with others all that you've been learning here this has all been a part of your growth in this lifetime everything that you've been going through and your solar plexus wants you wants you to know that that this is not all in vain and that this is all a part of your soul's journey all a part of your own evolution all a part of what you came here to do how you came here to serve what you came here to share with others, what you came here to communicate to others, what you came here to learn. So with this, with this group, you just keep doing what you're doing. Um, like, it's, like we said, forgive. This is all about forgiveness so that you can come into what you came here to share with the world. All this growth that you've done, this is all, all this has been a part of your journey into growth. And um, your journey into growth is something that is going to be communicated and shared with others. All a part of, you know, it's, it's something having to do with compassion, with love, with maybe arts. Um, even liquids, water, water liquids chemicals whatever it is for you it's also another thing is to definitely be communicating with your spirit guides if you haven't done so because they've been trying to communicate with you and that's why I feel some of you are on this video that's a message for some of you really starting to communicate with your guides here and to follow this journey continuing on your transformation so that's all i have for the for those of you who chose pyrite thank you for watching everyone i have another video on my channel of what your heart needs to tell you so if you want a good balance to what your will needs to tell you there's also a what your heart needs to tell you so thanks for watching everyone if you enjoyed or or uh, have, any, have anything that you'd like to share, I will definitely respond in the comments.